From mid-century to contemporary, public to private, we're in search of the very best in art. Homes, happenings, stores, restaurants and people. Things that defy categories. The perpetual freshness and cool of modern never ceases to captivate us. Join us for another edition of Modern Dallas TV to discover what's going on and where in the modern world. Modern Dallas Real Estate This Week is here at 3922 Rochelle Drive. I'm here with John Weber of Hickman Weber of Ebby Halliday Realtors. John, this is a great neighborhood. This is a great story. Shipping containers. A little different for North Dallas. Yes. Tell yes. us a little bit about how this came together. So it's a great collaboration between two architects with RX Designs that came together and formed a pretty great partnership to bring us this awesome 2,400 square foot home that's over here in Midway Hollow. So really great property with two shipping containers that were single use containers that they've used to actually flank the house and make bookends. And then they built three bedrooms and two and a half bath, three and a half bathrooms, excuse me, on, on top of that to actually give us this phenomenal house. It's got some really great unique features. So obviously people look at these shipping containers and the first thing, how does it work? Yeah. How do they work? Well, they brought the, I was here the day that they brought the containers in. The containers were actually dropped on the slab. They're bolted to the slab. It's probably, you know, stronger construction than anything else that we have out here. And then they have steel workers come in and actually cut out the areas and the, and the openings that we create that, that flow into the rest of the house. And how are each one of these used? So the, we've got the one main container that we're standing in that is actually the entryway and then forms the hall and, and then also part of the living room. And then we've got the second shipping container that houses the kitchen, the laundry room, and then the pantry, as well as an outdoor storage area for lawn equipment and things like that. So with that said, there's a whole bunch more to the house than just the containers. Yes, Give exactly. us a sense of what people can expect from the house and any features and benefits. So the house, I mean, it's it, it really lives like a, a an everyday house. I mean, it is the shipping container really is just almost like a skin to the house, just like a brick is or siding or anything else. A lot of people don't realize that on, si on the inside of that shipping container, we actually studded the walls. We've got spray foam insulation. So you've got high energy efficiency. So it's just one little aspect of the house is the shipping container, but it gives it a really cool design feature. Um, one of the other main aspects of the house is we've got a large hanger wall that actually opens up and cantilevers to become also a patio cover that was the design of the two architects that, that has two hydraulic lifts. It can withstand the weight of 2,000 pounds on that, that door, so it's not just an everyday garage door. It's a pretty high-end feature that creates a really cool aspect that brings the outdoors in. Yeah, it's phenomenal. A uh, couple of other things, the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. This is a neighborhood going through yep. transition. Tell us exactly. a little bit about this. Midway Hollow has done a phenomenal transformation over the last few years. It's been a long time in the making, but it seems like over the last two to four years, it's builders have really discovered it and the location is phenomenal. The lot sizes are great. So it's a good opportunity for a lot of people to come in and build a lot of these customs. We see a lot of modern properties that are coming on over here in the Midway Hollow area. The house is listed for? 750. And they can see it on your website? It's on our website. You can go to 3922rochelle.ebby.com and see all the details and information. Wonderful. And if you'd like to see all the modern listings in Dallas, visit our website at moderndallas.net. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Modern Dallas Art This Week is here at RO2 Art. We're here to see the shows by Ray Mel Cornelius every day and Mark Ross, Life Works. Two complimentary shows, they work so well together and I'm here with Jordan Roth. Jordan, always an interesting pair. Yeah, yeah. We were really excited to put uh, Ray Mel Cornelius and Mark Ross together. Uh, we thought of this pairing several months back and when they were due for shows and it's nice, you've got one artist, Raymel Cornelius, um, here in the, in the front gallery, um, doing what I consider to be um, portraits of, of landmarks in his uh, neighborhood of Oak Cliff. 
And then in back you have clearly portraits of uh, people um, by Mark Ross. And um, in contrast, I found, I found it really interesting that you have examples of like really slow, deliberate painting in this front gallery. And in Mark Ross's show, um, his emphasis and um, what he was really excited about was the opportunity to create really fast painting. So um, there's a lot to look at and there's a lot to, to kind of um, contemplate as you're, you're thinking about the process that each artist went through. And what's interesting, both these shows have a common denominator, they both form. Architecturally, on Ray Mills, and then for me, the human body is an absolute perfect sculpture. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, in, in our program, we really focus often on figurative painting. And clearly in figurative painting, you have objects and you have figures. And um, that's another, another thing that we, we took into consideration and we're delighted by being able to um, kind of take away all everything that would be in the periphery and um, let the artist focus in on those like subjects as intently as possible. So just quick on Ray Mel. This is 26 years of living in Oak Cliff. Yeah. So this is really the body of work of what he, he drives by every day. Exactly. And that was the, the impetus behind the title. Um, this is every day for him. And it's sort of a, a love letter to Oak Cliff. Um, Oak Cliff, if, for those that don't know, is an historic part of Dallas, um, very diverse. Uh, there, you might have you know, an upscale uh, restaurant next door to an income tax shop and, and then bridal salons next door to a movie theater. And um, the bridal salons in particular is something that, that interested uh, Raymel for this show. Um, well, they're really quinceanera stores and there's a huge industry along Jefferson Boulevard of these quinceanera stores. And it brings an atmosphere really unlike any other uh, street that I've driven by in Dallas. And um, like many of the businesses that um, are in some of these hot neighborhoods, probably these quinceanera stores are, are struggling to um, continue to stay there. And so in, in one series, he focused on um, the various uh, dresses in, in the quinceanera windows and in, in, on one of the buildings. So let's talk a little bit about the other show, Mark Ross. So Mark Ross' show is a, a really nice compliment to this show. Um, like Ray Mel, he's really focused in on his figures. And uh, aside from the fact that they are primarily nudes, he's really set the mood um, with the, the positions that um, his models have taken and the work that he's done with their facial expressions. Um, you can really get a sense of maybe some tension or, or um, deep contemplation that's, that's uh, happening um, in those studies. And as I mentioned before, they're fast paintings. He wanted to capture the feeling at that moment. And instead of carrying it on to a second session, he's completed each work during that first session. But it, they have two great bodies of work. It's a great show. I think they're going through, uh, through the 24th of June. And they can find them here? Here at Row 2 Art, we're at 1501 South Irving in the Cedars. And if you'd like to see all the modern listings on the art scene in Dallas, visit our website at moderndallas.net. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you. Thanks. The modern lifestyle begins in the home, and you'll find a range of unique living spaces across Dallas's most desirable neighborhoods. Start your search by meeting one of these modern realtors. Poget began his career with a degree in architecture, followed by years of interior design work, including the interior design of several luxury high-rises and commissions for clients' dream homes. Poget's distinct background makes real estate a natural fit. To wrap up this edition of Modern Dallas TV, we cover local modern events and the art scene. Check out the calendar and the arts page on our website at moderndallas.net. There are always great events from the Dallas Architecture Forum, Preservation Dallas, and the Dallas Center for Architecture has great walking tours in downtown Dallas. Open houses every week, always a great selection. You can create your own mini mod home tour and Todd Camplin covers the art scene for us, from art galleries to museums and artists. You can check out his page on the website. 
And lastly, if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern, contemporary, home, high-rise or loft, we simply have the finest moderns in Dallas. For this week, we appreciate you being part of our show. We'll see you later.